Okay, I'm going to show you um, the first step in doing an Indian corn painting. So what you're going to start out with doing is you're going to take a piece of chalk and we are just going to kind of chalk this in. Now we're going to make guidelines for our drawings. The first one, we're going to just make a line about that long. Now the next one is going to be crossed over. Okay, now we want to have the big corn stalks on each of the ends. So you're going to make a wider line here and then a wider line here. On the opposite of it, you're going to make a small line and a small line. Now those are going to be our guidelines. You're going to come down and make the corn. It kind of comes to a point. Now when you're making this corn, you're going to have to jump over the other corn. So that you have two pieces like that. Now to make the stalks, you're just going to kind of free draw these in. And you want them to maybe go off your paper. They can be wavy, you can make maybe three or four of them. You want to kind of fill your space up. There's for that one. The other one, maybe I want to jump over. Maybe one will come off. And maybe one more is coming here. And that kind of looks like I've got my space filled. The next part is you are going to want to make your lines in your Indian corn. And you're going to make them about as thick as your finger and you're going to go all the way down. And then you're going to do that to the other one. You're going to have to jump over the corn that's overlapping. Now you're all done with your chalk. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your pencil and you're going to do some outlining. You're going to outline your chalk lines here because next week you're going to need to know where these lines are for painting. Okay, then you're going to want to do the other side's corn stalks. Now you don't want to outline the outside of your corn. What you are going to do is start filling in your lines with circles. Now the circles need to fill up your entire row and they can go over your chalk lines. They need to be touching each other, top and bottom, side to side. Take your time with these. If you accidentally make um, some of your lines too skinny, like say you did this, you don't want to do really small corns. That will take you way too long. What you can do instead is just double over some of your lines and just take and make the corn bigger. If you happen to end up making corns that look like this and don't fill your space and are too far apart, that's okay. What you can do is just go back and fill in your empty spaces with corn kernels. Now you're gonna want to take your time and you're going to fill in all the corn and you're going to notice that your chalk is going to start rubbing off which is fine next time when we come back to paint them we'll want that chalk to be gone And you're going to get smaller and smaller till there's just one 
piece of corn right at the end. And you're gonna go ahead and you can turn your paper and do that for your other corn also. And that's the first step. Okay, I just finished it and I just wanted to let you know that this is the finished product with all of my circles drawn in and all of my corn stalks traced. We are ready to begin painting.